Now you may be used to using your combi steam oven for steaming a variety of vegetables or grains or even uh, shellfish, but there are some other ways you can use the steam mode that are extremely useful. When it comes to tomatoes, when we make tomato sauce, the first thing we have to do is blanch the tomatoes and get the skins off. So rather than putting, boiling up a big pot of water and putting the tomatoes in the water, all you have to do is set the oven to the steam mode. Go ahead, put your little cross at the bottom of the tomatoes and uh, place the tomatoes in the perforated pan. Pop the pan in the oven for about three to four minutes. You'll begin to see the skins will fold back a little bit, at which time you can remove them, let them cool, and you're ready to make sauce. Now, perhaps you don't want to make sauce. Perhaps you want to go ahead and do some canning. And you're going to see the steam oven is a remarkable tool to use for canning as well. The first step in canning is, of course, to sterilize the jars. So I'm going to place the jars in the perforated container, pop it in the oven for 10 minutes. Again, I'm using the steam mode, 212 degrees. So this replicates water boiling on the cooktop. Now, by that time, my tomatoes have cooled. I've got the skins off, and if I want to can the tomatoes, I go ahead and prepare the jars for canning. I add a little bit of lemon juice, put the peeled tomatoes in, and then top the jars up with enough boiling water, leaving about a half inch at the top. Then I'm putting the lids and the rings on, loosely, not real tight yet. And now the containers go back in the perforated pan, and now they're gonna stay in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. So these are two great ways in which you can use your combi steam oven in the steam mode for blanching vegetables, for sterilizing jars, and for the actual canning as well. Just follow the same instructions as if you were canning in a pot of water on the stove.